All right, here we are on our 96 uh, F-150 4x4, 76,000 miles. Got it warmed up and running right now for the driving video. Got all the lights on, four-way flashers going. Just running nice and smooth. No shaky exhaust or uh, rough, rough idling. Got all the lights working. Got our cargo light on. Show you all that stuff works. All right, so we're gonna get belted in. Gonna do a little bit of in-town type city driving. Go over some potholes to show you. She's rattle-free drive. You can see no lights are on. Um, got the foot on the brake. No brake, so take the foot off the brake. You see we're not rolling anywhere, so you know the uh, e-brake works. Now we're rolling away. So we're gonna go ahead and get going here. We're gonna get going up that hill there. It's got a pretty good load on it. It's pretty steep. So we're going to go ahead and turn the overdrive off, it's not blinking, and which I recommend when you're towing or hauling, or you're going under uh, 45 miles an hour just to keep the wear and tear off it. We're going to hit some potholes about 45 miles an hour here, just soaks them up nice. And we're going to hit these ones about 55, just really soaks them up. You'll hear just a little bit of rattling, but that's just the stuff that was sitting in the glove box. We're gonna get it on this uh, this incline here. Just give it your normal throttle. It just cruises right up. You know your overdrive light isn't blinking or nothing. Go ahead and give her a little more gas so we can climb to the top. And I'll just keep accelerating so you'll see the speed just climbing. She doesn't hesitate or or uh, fall on his face. Brakes really nice, you know, hasn't been pad slapped or nothing where somebody just throws pads on there and the rotors are warped. Doesn't shudder or shake. Uh, just nice straight, nice straight stopping. Just nice and smooth pedal. You know, no fading or anything like that. So, it's an easy truck to drive. Um, you know, it's easy to see out of it. Just a regular cab, stock height truck. You know, really tight steering. See, it just rotates really nice. No binding or uh, sloppy steering. Um, so yeah, CD player sounds really nice. Hopefully you guys can hear that. AC blows nice and cold. The heater blows warm also. You can hear there's no howling issues. You can hear the AC kick on. So we'll go ahead and turn that off so you guys can see me. But uh, you can see there's no chips or cracks in the window. The hood's got a nice shine to it. The uh, Oxford white finish. So it's always, it's always nice to have a you know, nice polish on the hood and stuff makes for a little bit of more of an enjoyable drive. You know, wipers work intermediate right there. We'll crank her up to slow. Well, that's still the intermediate. She's got about seven speeds. They're slow. There's, of course, high. Close those up. You know, your horn works. All that stuff works good. Um, I'll turn the overdrive on. So then once we get on the freeway here, hopefully uh, with the traffic abiding, we can get up to some freeway speeds. But I'll go ahead while we got a little break here. We'll go ahead and do the uh, power windows. Go nice and quick. Got to, got to your uh, your tilt steering. It's it's all the way up right now, so you guys can see the gauges. But it operates really nice and smooth. Locks into place. You got your power outlet, you know, for your for your cell phone and iPod and stuff like that. I don't remember if I added this on the last video, but it looks like he did have a CB, but there's no screws going through the roof. It's just uh, kind of mess up the headliner there a little bit. Uh, but all your wing windows lock really nice. Um, they stay in place if you open them up. So if you're going down the road, they're not going to be flapping in the wind or anything like that. you got to give them some effort. Nice and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the overdrive on by doing that and uh, we're gonna get ready to roll here appreciate you guys staying along I know it gets kind of uh, kind of probably boring doing all this stuff but we try to just show you you know the best idea of what this trucks like how it handles um, we're gonna just get up you know just give it quarter throttle and then uh, I'll hopefully hammer down and uh, away we'll go oh that guy's a little bit of a smoker there it's never what you want to see but uh, so we're just gonna go here kind of give it quarter throttle just like normal would, you know, just slow acceleration onto the freeway. Let those people get away from us right up there. So we're already up to 50. Uh, so I'm gonna hammer down right now. 
This truck shifts really good. Always down shifts as soon as you hit the gas. Nice smooth up shifts, doesn't slap or uh, do anything like that. I mean, you can just see it just keeps climbing. I mean, you know, I'm to the wood, but you know, you gotta let off, otherwise this thing will just uh, get you in trouble. It's an awesome driving truck. It's nice tight steering. You know, it's easy to drive. You know, your steering wheel does, you know, as we talked before, it's been repaired, so it's a little bit lumpy, but you know, heck, you can just throw a cover over the top of that and call it good. I'll let this all let off the gas a little bit, let this guy fade out, but uh, go ahead and, ahead and hit the set, set on the speedo. You turn the uh, cruise control on. Oh, you got the dual tanks too, forgot to show you, so I'll flip it over to the rear tank. It just starts to crime, but uh, you can see no foots on the gas. We're still going, so the cruise control works, all that stuff. I'll go ahead and get pulled over here safely and show you guys uh, the four-wheel drive system. It doesn't get any easier to work on or use a four-wheel drive system than this one. It's got the push button and the automatic hubs. So so we'll give it a little bit of gas here. I mean, it just pulls strong and smooth. It's got a great sound, a little motor to it. I mean, it's just nice tight turns. You know, no rattles or stuff that'll drive you nuts. Alright, there we go. So, so foot, four wheel drive, boom. You just push it in and you can be driving at the same time and your other light will come on. Uh, if you want to do low range, you're going to want to put her in neutral. And you'll hear it clunk in and now you're in the four low. And boy, let me tell you something. The four low is definitely um, <laughs> the four, is, is low range, that's for sure. I mean, you'll feel it hop around on the cement like this because the four-wheel drives in and this is about that's about it it's just cruising in four low and you can always hear that that low range working so all right that's uh that's about it you know all the power locks work all that stuff so good luck to me no reserve